Tonight, Andrew McCabe's defending his side of the story, saying when Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein offered to wear a wire inside the White House to record the president after James Comey was fired, it was serious, not sarcastic. Now, he was not joking. He was absolutely serious. And in fact, he brought it up in the next meeting we had. The Justice Department, in a carefully worded statement, says Rosenstein never authorized any recording, but today, McCabe is arguing that's not a denial. So while the Deputy Attorney General says he never authorized anyone to wear a wire, that is true. He never authorized it because we never asked him for that authorization. Well, you don't think he denied anything you just said? I don't, I don't think he can. The DOJ calls McCabe's version of events inaccurate, and President Trump today is going even further, describing McCabe's story as deranged and calling it illegal and treasonous that the former deputy FBI director said Rosenstein discussed invoking the 25th Amendment to remove the president from office. If he was, thought he was serious about wearing a wire into the office of the president of the United States, McCabe should have considered locking Rosenstein up or should have gone immediately and said that Rosenstein should be removed from office. McCabe was fired from the FBI last year, accused of lying under oath about his interactions with the media. As for all those notes McCabe says he took about conversations he's had, McCabe says they're now in the hands of the special counsel. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.